Hi, this is Andrew Aversa with Impact Soundworks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install a contact player or a full contact sample library. This is going to assume you haven't done anything in the process so far. So if you've already done some of these steps, just skip forward to the next chapter in the video. Okay, so you've finished placing an order, in this case, Shredage 3 Stratus Free, and you have a product code. What do you do next? First, we need to check whether what we purchased is a contact player or a full contact instrument. On our website, if you scroll down and look at the product requirements section, you'll see contact player for libraries compatible with the player. Anything that requires the full version means you actually need to buy the contact plugin first before you can use the instrument. For example, this library, Heritage Percussion, if we scroll down, it says contact full version. If you don't already, you're going to want to go to native-instruments.com and you'll want to create a new account here. This is because Native Instruments creates the contact player and contact plugins that most of our instruments run on. I'll go to the upper right and click register now. In this case, I'm just going to use my Google account. And once I've registered my account, I'll go to products and then free. And we're going to pick up contact eight player here you'll want to then download the application here. And because we've already created an account, all we have to do is click this get free software button and then get complete start. Next, we need to make sure that we have native access installed. This is the application that's used to keep contact updated. Again, contact is the plugin that our instruments and sample libraries run inside of. So you can think of it as the container for our sounds. Select which version you want. For example, I'm on Windows. We'll save the file and then click to run the installer and follow the instructions. Once we have native access installed, we're going to open it up. I'll click on the application and we'll log in using our native access account. Again, in my case, I used a Google account to sign in. Here we are at the home screen of native access. We're going to click on library and I already have a bunch of other libraries, but we're going to scroll down to contact eight player and we'll hit install. While contact is installing, we're going to make sure that we have the pulse downloader. Pulse is what we use to actually download the instruments and the libraries themselves and keep them updated. So if you have 20 or 30 or 40 libraries, you'll be able to keep them downloaded and installed very easily with this application. I'll hit download for Windows here, and then I'll install it. Once installed, find the Pulse application on your computer and open it. Because Pulse is different from native access and it's made by a different company, we'll want to create a new account here. Simply click on register, and then you can use whatever email or login you'd like. Conceptually, Pulse is similar to native access in that you can manage a library of products. To be clear, the library tab shows your personal collection and is different from the store tab, which is a marketplace for purchasing additional libraries on Pulse. Please make sure you're on the library tab when doing this install. Now that we have Pulse and native access installed, and we've also installed contact player, or you already have the full version of Contact installed if you purchased that, we can now download the Impact Soundworks instrument that you purchased or that you got for free. If we look back on the checkout page, we have a product code here. This is the code that we're going to use in Pulse to download the instrument. If you miss the code on the checkout page or you close the tab, don't worry because you will have received an email with this subject, your Impact Soundworks order is now complete, and you'll see the code here. By the way, we also have instructions and guides in this email. I'll copy this code, go back to Pulse, and in the upper right, we'll click Add a Product. I'll paste the code and press Redeem. Now you'll be prompted for where you want to download and install the instrument. We recommend putting your instruments on an internal drive or a fast external drive. This folder looks good, and then we'll hit Download and Install. The next step is going to depend on whether this is a contact player instrument or a full contact instrument. Again, the full version of contact is the one that you actually have to pay for. If this is a contact player instrument, then we're going to use the same code in native access to authorize the instrument in native access. In the bottom left of native access, click add serial and then paste the serial here. This is the same exact code that we use to download it in Pulse which makes things very easy. This contact player instrument is now activated with native access. There's just one more thing we have to do here, which is tell native access where the instrument files are. Click on the available tab at the top of the interface. 
we're going to look for the product that we just activated, in our case, Shreddage 3 Stratus Free. If you don't see it on the list, hit the refresh button at the top. If that still doesn't work, try closing native access and reopening it. Now we're going to hit the dot 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 button and click on locate. We'll navigate to the folder where we downloaded the instrument via Pulse. Here we have Shreddage 3 Stratus Free, select folder, and finally confirm. If this is a full contact library, then there is no further authorization or activation needed in native access. Only contact player libraries need to be activated or registered in native access. Now that we've downloaded the instrument via Pulse and we've activated it in native access, if it was a contact player instrument, we can open contact in our DAW. Open up your DAW of choice. I'm using FL Studio here, but it doesn't matter what you use. Open up your DAW's list of available plugins, which Contact or Contact Player should now be a part of. Add it to your project as an instrument, and then open up the UI. The very last step is just opening up the library in Contact itself so we can get to playing and writing. I'm gonna show you my own preferred workflow, first using Contact 7, as that's still what a lot of people use, and then with Contact 8. Go to the View menu and click on Rack View. Then click on the contact logo. Personally, I find this view easier to use because it's more similar to older versions of contact. With the Libraries tab selected, we can look at all of the libraries we have installed. Let's find Stratus Free. And from here, we'll click the Instruments button. And then here is our instrument. We can either drag and drop or we can double click on it. Here's the same process of loading a contact player library, this time in Contact 8. With the plugin freshly open, click on View and then Classic View. Again, this is just my personal preference, but I think it's a bit easier. Click on the Contact Player logo, and here we have our list of libraries on the left. You can type in a name to search. Here's Stratus Free. We'll click Instruments, and then either double-click on the NKI or drag it in. By the way, all of the most recent versions of Contact and Contact Player let you resize the interface from the bottom right. Now, if this is a library for the full version of Contact, it does not appear in the Libraries tab. Instead, we can use one of several methods to load it. We can go to the Files tab and then navigate to the folder where we downloaded it. For example, our Heritage Percussion Library is free but requires the full version of Contact. We'll double click look in the Instruments folder, and then we load this file the same way we would load anything else. Drag and drop or double click. But there are some ways to speed this up. You can also drag the instrument file from your operating system's Finder or Windows Explorer. Here I have Super Audio Boy. If I go to Instruments and then drag in this NKI, it works exactly the same way. We can also use the Quick Load feature of Contact. Go to View, and then make sure the Quick Load view is enabled. From here, let's navigate to the instrument we want to save for easy access, in this case, Heritage Percussion, and we can drag it here. We could do the same for other instruments. Now, at any time, we can simply drag and drop from Quick Load. By the way, if you don't see a keyboard like this at the bottom of the screen, which we show in a lot of our tutorial videos, you can click on the View menu and make sure that keyboard is checked. And this concludes the process of downloading, installing, and setting up a virtual instrument for the first time. For any future purchases or free products that you might get, you won't need to download Pulse or Native Access again. You'll simply open these applications and jump right to add a product in Pulse, and then for any contact player instruments, add Serial. If you encounter any issues at all, our support is always standing by. Click on the support link at the top of our website, and first you can check the FAQ. For example, let's say we're having issues with installation. We can type install, search, and we can see guides not just for contact player and contact full instruments, but also things like our Tokyo Cab Pack of impulse responses, our native plugins, and so forth. But if you're still having trouble, then just click on the Contact Us button here. If you're thorough at filling out the details on this page, it really makes it much easier for our support team to help you. Once again, this has been Andrew Versa with Impact Soundworks. Thank you so much for using our instruments. We can't wait to hear what kind of music you make with them.